Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bearded Fortech. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe button down there somewhere. So we are about to tear apart a CP4 pump out of a 2017 F450. If you guys didn't see the short, it was glitter party. Uh, we pulled the volume control valve out. We're gonna talk about that. All right, it came out of a 2017 F450, six, seven power strokes, got 286,400 and something miles, almost 500 miles. We pulled the volume control valve out. It was a uh, little bit of metal in there. It's not supposed to be any metal in there, but if you look on the screen very closely, there's some metal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the table. We're gonna tear apart the CP4 and see how bad it came apart on the inside. So without further ado, let's go over there to the table and let's tear this thing down. All right, here's the CP4. If you look down in there, you can kind of see some debris over here in this corner. So let's go ahead and start pulling this bad boy apart. And these are T30s on the top. And this one's not pinned, 2018 and newer they pinned it. So I'm willing to bet one of these uh, rollers in here has started to turn. Come on. You're not pinned, so you better come out. There we go. There's somewhere marks, it looks like. Mm -hmm. See those lines? I don't know if you can see them. You see right there, it started to turn in the bore. That's really rough right there too. Okay. There's that side. This one looks like it turned just a little bit. Yeah, I pulled that straight out. It looked like it turned slightly. It's got a little bit of wear on it too. See those lines? Yeah, there's a line on the on the crankshaft down, or crankshaft on the pulley. Holy man, words on the cam. Uh, these four bolts right here is a T40. And then I'm probably gonna have to use a hammer and get it off. There's some debris down inside there. I just stuck it in a vise like that, pinched it, and just smacked it with a hammer. It's the easiest way to get it off. So there is some wear on the bore. There is some flake down there in the bottom. See that line? It's not supposed to be there. So it was starting to turn. Yep. It's actually, there's a line there too. 
Goodbye. See the line. Try to make it so you can see it. I'm sorry. There's a line all the way across. And then there's a, a gouge right there. So it's supposed to be smooth like this all the way across the whole thing. There's not supposed to be any lines there. And yeah. So the bucket actually did turn inside there a little bit. You can actually see some of the debris inside there. So it had little fine metal shavings and it would throw a code 0087. Um, you guys saw the glitter on the VCV valve. And it would start and then shut off. And then it would start again and then it would shut off. And then it would do an extended crank. And then finally crank back up and it was just running like crap. And it failed the high pressure fuel system test. So you can see it's smooth here, then there's a line, and then the line starts. There's three lines. And then it skips, and it starts three lines, but there's one solid line going all the way around. So this thing is garbage. All right, so there you have it. 2017, 286,450 miles. Not that bad. It was bad enough where it would lose fuel pressure because the bucket was starting to turn inside there on the cam. You can see the line, one that went all the way around the cam, and then there was two more where it would start and then stop and then start again. And I could, I could feel that it was rough. And then there was a line on the other side of the cam. That's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be just a smooth surface. Uh, that one is not pinned. They started pinning it in 2018 or 2019, I do believe. But uh, that bad boy got a DCR in it now, and it's back on the road. It's good to go. That CP4 is uh, going to be a desk piece. So... I'm starting to collect them now because uh, they don't want the pump backs as cores. They just want the injectors back. So I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out for this video. Uh, sorry, it's not as bad as we all thought it would be. It did fail. Uh, it failed the high pressure test and it put a little bit of metal through the system. So we got a whole brand new fuel system and everything. I wish it was more catastrophic. I'm sorry. But 286,000 miles, that's actually not bad. It's one of those parts you cannot put a number on. It could last five miles. It could last five million miles. Who knows? So uh, with that being said, I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.